Felicitelli. Yeah, so basically, everyone wants to be Felicitelli. You're the brand, you're the lifestyle that people uh -huh. want to buy into. So uh -huh. when you have Pinnacle, you have Glory. So you have the luxury cars, you have the luxury homes. Uh -huh. So people want to buy into your lifestyle. Uh -huh. So for as long as you maintain doing what you're doing and everyone loves you, uh -huh. all these, all, all your companies are going to flourish. Uh -huh. So Pinnacle being a housing company, what you'd have to do is you have to go out and see what people want. So basically, Munenda and you do a survey on uh -huh. everyone around. So what are the complaints? What do people want? What are we not doing? Because like there's always two perceptions to a brand. It's what you think you are uh -huh. as a brand. Like what are you giving to the public? And then it's what the brand gets from you. Does that make sense? Uh -huh. So if that's working hand in hand, everyone's like, yes, Philip Chiangwa, Pinnacle, Shuruku Shanda, mm -hmm. it's working out, we're happy. Mm -hmm. Then that means that as a brand, Murubita very well. That's why Pinnacle is one of the most, the biggest company that you have that grosses the most money. Mm -hmm. Because everyone wants that lifestyle, everyone wants to be Philip Chiangwa, they feel that Wagatenga stand, mm -hmm. you know, that's one step being closer to living the Philip Chiangwa lifestyle. I also want to drive a Bentley. For me to drive a Bentley, let me buy from Pinnacle. For mm -hmm. me to, you know, live my life, let me hire a car from Glory. Mm -hmm. So it's all these things that you have done that's put it all together to make it one big brand. Mm -hmm. So any company, Dad, even if you wanted to start selling clothes today, mm -hmm. you could do it. Because mm -hmm. everyone wants to be you. There's nothing that you can't do or start today that no one, that people won't follow. Because mm -hmm. you're already a trendsetter. All these videos, Shuruku Fire, started because of you. Mm -hmm. So everything that you do, people grow from it, they take from it, and they want to be that. So what I was mistaken with that your degrees about fashion, sewing clothes, <laughs> etc. and whatever you, what exactly? My degree is fashion PR and communications. Uh -huh. So that's basically the business end of fashion. So I'm a cleaner, like the underground Olivia Pope, uh -huh. <laughs> basically. Okay. So that's what I do. So you are a spin doctor? Yes, basically. <laughs> okay. So uh, if, if, if some name went, went ba bad yeah. uh, in the business world, you, yeah. you, you, you go in there and clean it like you're cleaning fashion? Yes, basically. So we have to spin it in a way that, let's say, for example, if uh -huh. the owner of Versace went out in public and was swearing people and doing whatever he was doing, uh -huh. we have to go out and be like, no, he had an emotional breakdown. He stressed, yeah, ooh, the new fashion line is coming out. It's mm -hmm. stress. So now uh -huh. that puts a lot of hype around the fashion line itself. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So that's basically what happened. So everything that people do whenever you end up hearing another story like if you hear that old breaking news the versace founder has done a b c d there'll be another article you know yeah it's contradicted that okay but at the same time we've learned that any publicity is good publicity whether it's bad fashion line is coming out it's mm -hmm. stress so now uh -huh. that puts a lot of hype around the fashion line itself uh-huh uh -huh. so that's basically what happened so Everything that people do whenever you end up hearing another story, like if you hear that old breaking news, the Versace founder has done A, B, C, D, there'll be another article, you know, yeah, it's contradicted that. Okay. But at the same time, we've learned that any publicity is good publicity, whether it's bad, good or what, as long as people are mm -hmm. talking about you, mm -hmm. then you remain relevant. You're going to make a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So, so, so that's the, that's the story about this degree. Yes. Dad. Okay. <laughs> Me, I was just thinking, oh, my daughter is busy uh, being given garments and uh, drawings on what, uh, you know, a, a garment can come out looking like. That's how ignorant I was. No, Dad. Okay. <laughs> that's okay. not what I'm doing. Oh, that's great, eh? Nobody would think that that's exactly what you're doing. If, no, I, I, if I just say my daughter is at a fashion school, you know what they will say? They'll think I'm so clothes. <laughs> no, they'll just think that, okay, um, Cherish is busy at getting material. <laughs> and and she's got a garment and uh, uh, and and so forth. I mean, what the hell? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. You know, it's very myopic view on on the degree itself. Yeah, that is true. Okay, yeah, that cherish they're talking to dad, yeah, about this degree she's partaking in, and I am very impressed with uh, what she just told me. It's a revelation I didn't know. So uh, yeah, cherish. Um, you know, well done. It's a good selection of a good degree. Eh? Thanks, Daddy. Okay, you great. Wanna make you proud? Yeah, I'm very happy. Yeah? <laughs> I also want to be Philip Chiamba. Oh yeah, great. Yeah? That's branding, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's uh, my fashionista <laughs> daughter will come and spin and spin and spin pinnacle brand. Yeah, watch out. We're coming. We will not stop right here. Taking over Thanks, the world. Thanks, Cherish.
Thank you, Dad. Love all you. All right. Love you all. Love you for listening.